In October 2017, during a severe storm, two container ships collided in the South African port of Durban, causing billions of noodles to spill into the ocean. It was the first time most South Africans had ever heard the word noodle, and suddenly these cute-sounding lentil-sized plastic pellets were the cause of a serious environmental disaster. High winds and ocean currents spread the problem far and fast. Nurdles inundated the country's beaches, as far north as the border with Mozambique, and all the way southwest to Cape Town, a distance of roughly 1,800 kilometers, or 1,100 miles. And in under a year, these nurdles were even found on the beaches of Western Australia. Pellets littered the sand like fresh fallen snow. 49 tons in total. Cleanup operations would take years. But let's back up a bit. What is a noodle? Where do they come from? What are they used for? And why are they the new pollution threat no one has ever heard of? quick answer is that nurdles are pellets of virgin plastic, the raw material used to make all plastic products. They are the first step in the manufacturing process, after oil. Anything made of plastic, like our laundry baskets, buckets or water bottles, start life as nurdles. Go back one more step and your plastic bottle was just a barrel of sludge. Oil producers like Shell and ExxonMobil turn crude oil or gas into these virgin plastic pellets or noodles. And it's these noodles that manufacturers transport in their billions to make our stuff. Noodles in, laundry baskets out. If that was the end of the story, it would be fine. Noodles themselves are not the enemy. But often, the noodles born here are needed by plastic manufacturers over here. And every step in the transportation process is a chance for billions to escape into the environment before they get moulded into a useful shape. That's how two shipping containers full of noodles spilled out of Durban Harbour. 1,960 25 kilogram bags. Floating on the ocean surface, noodles look like fish eggs, so turtles, fish and birds can mistake them for food, which can lead to death by starvation. Over time, noodles attract and concentrate chemical contaminants from the sea to their surface and become a potential source of toxic chemicals. If ingested, these chemicals can build up in animal and human tissue, causing long-term damage. And it's a long-term problem. Unless they are physically removed, noodles remain in the environment for thousands of years becoming part of the estimated 5.25 trillion pieces of macro and microplastic now floating in the open ocean. And that number is increasing. As oil and gas companies produce greater quantities of noodles, spills are becoming more frequent. It's estimated that over 250,000 tonnes enter the ocean annually. That's enough to fill 10,000 shipping containers. Environmental groups and scientists are worried about the current lack of regulation to specifically address the risk of plastic pellet pollution, which in many ways resembles the more familiar environmental hazard of oil spills. But like oil disasters taught us, 
we need to learn from our nodal accidents. Currently, there are no global safety standards in place around packaging and transportation to minimize spills. Large-scale cleanup protocols would be required to quickly and efficiently clean up ocean spills. Community-led initiatives can only do so much. The plastics industry did initiate Operation Clean Sweep with the goal of adopting best practices to reduce pellet spills. But it's a toothless initiative and has provided no public reporting in over 25 years. Of course, the elephant in the room is our global addiction to plastic. Conservation experts say the best way to mitigate the crisis of plastic pollution is to reduce demand. And initiatives like mandated recycling and laws to ban single-use plastic go a far way to address the problem. But it will be a while before plastic production reduces to a significant level. For now, nurdles are here to stay.